our merch up and today we're tracking down all the torch bears all over Northern Ireland. We've been everywhere from Newton Arts to Cumber and now we're here in White Abbey and we're going to find an Olympic torch bear. Come on Alicia, I think there's one over there. So how are you nominated for carrying an Olympic torch? I was nominated by my sister who's called Gemma, she nominated me for Coca-Cola and I run a cross community cheerleading club called the Valley Wildcats so she nominated me for all my work with that. So how does it feel to be doing this type of thing? Unbelievable. I'm a wee bit overwhelmed at the number of people but I'm just, I'm really proud and I hope I do everyone that I know pride and all my cheerleaders. Is that very heavy? It is heavy enough. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it? Oh, that feels so good. It's heavy enough. I didn't think it would be so heavy. Uh, <laughs> um, how far do I have to run with this? Um, about 300 metres, so not too far, hopefully. Um, well, there's a guy, Michael, he's running the first leg up here, and then he passes the flame to me, and then I'm passing it over to a girl, Joanne, I think, on down there. And then we go on with the convoy to Lockshore, and then they're going to bring us back again, so it's very exciting, very exciting day. Do you ride in the bus? Yes, we're on a wee bus at the start and it drops us all off and then there's another bus comes at the end and picks us up again. So I'm just looking there, I think that's the convoy coming. I know, I think I'm on the wrong side of the road. take us um, all around Ireland and to Scotland to compete in cheerleading competitions. Um, she trains with us two times a week and gives up all of her time to coach us and she's very committed. Well, what's next to the World Cup Cheerleading Club? We've just come back from Scotch Cheer in Scotland and we're in training now for the next Scotch Cheer in April next year. She's fired up! She's 